Hey guys, it's Crystal, and I think it's about time we put the two newest Android phones to the test and see how their cameras do against each other. I got the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus, LG G6, and I'm also gonna throw in the Google Pixel because even though it's six months old, there's still some people out there that thinks it has the best camera. With the S8 and the Pixel, they both have 12 megapixel sensors, aperture of 1.7 and 2.0. And on the LG G6, we go up to a 13 megapixel sensor, aperture of 1.8. And a cool thing with this one is that we got a second lens on there, a wide angled one that also has 13 megapixels, just like its main camera, but it has an aperture of 2.4. So anyway, let's go take some pictures. So I took a lot of pictures here in New York City on a somewhat cloudy day, but pictures on all three phones came out really nice and colorful. I think right off the bat, you'll notice one of these phones sticks out with a different photo style, and that's the LG G6. It has a bit more of a faded look than the others. The S8 and Pixel look pretty similar, both with deep blacks and with nice HDR modes exposing the sky. The G6's faded look might make it seem less interesting than the others, less eye-catching, I guess, but this does make for a more realistic picture, I think. With the Pixel's camera, there's tons of software processing going on. It doesn't just have an HDR mode, it has an HDR Plus mode, which does a lot more than you think. If we zoom in, you can see that the Pixel's image has a bit of a warmer tone than the others. It also looks like it has some artificial sharpening going on, but it still has a lot of detail if you look at my jacket. The SA almost looks a little soft, and I don't know if you noticed by now, but the LG G6's photos look a little more zoomed in. The lens definitely is a bit more tight, but that really doesn't matter because you can easily switch over to the wide angle lens and you can't really do it justice in a portrait mode picture. I find it to be much more awesome shooting in landscape, allowing you to take photos you would never be able to take with the S8 and Pixel. Now, the LG G6 tends to usually lean a little towards the cooler side than the S8 and Pixel. You can really see this when looking at the sky, and even the small leaf buds on the trees look much brighter and greener than the others. Uh, whether that's a good or bad thing, it's up to you. I really do like it though. It does look like there's a lot of sharpening going on, kind of tricking you into thinking you can see each individual leaf. Oh, and of course, let's check out that wide angle lens with the LG G6. And yeah, it looks cool, but kind of unnecessary here. But there are gonna be times where it could be necessary, like here. Sometimes you can't get far away enough to get everything you want in the shot, but you could just switch to the wide angle lens. And this year, the G6's wide angle lens has the same amount of megapixels as a standard lens, but I found out since you end up getting more of a bright sky in the shot when you're doing this, your subjects come out a little darker. I mean, the HDR mode on the LG G6 does work very well, but in extreme situations like this, it's definitely not up to par with the Galaxy S8, so the sky is pretty much totally washed out with the G6. The Pixel does show what's going on with those clouds better though. That HDR Plus mode really does work wonders, but the Pixel also does usually take overall darker photos in extreme situations like these, so even though the sky looks good, the flowers might be too dark for some people. It's hard to say which is better in really any of these outdoor shots, so I'm curious to know what you guys think, so make sure you leave a comment below telling me which phone is doing the best so far. I guess what I get from these outdoor tests are that the LG G6 photos has the brightest photos at the expense of making the colors of the sky disappear sometimes, while the Pixel has darker photos, but that allows that sky to really punch on through. And the G6 usually has a tad more of a natural image too, while the other darker areas are crushed a little more. And the Pixel is by far the warmest of the bunch, shifting all those colors, which I think looks great, but some people might hate it. Now, when it comes to selfies, the Galaxy S8 and the Google Pixel have 8 megapixel sensors, while the LG G6 is stuck at only 5 megapixels. So in order to compensate for that, once again, we have the artificial sharpening going on with the G6, kind of tricking you into thinking you get more detail, and it works alright, I think. Overall, the same characteristics we saw with the rear camera we can see here. The LG G6 is the brightest of the photos, with the Google Pixel being the darkest, although you can see that sky sometimes, which I also love. The Pixel also shifts all those colors to a warmer temperature, and that HDR Plus mode makes my face seem a little more artificial looking. 
and overall definitely creates an unflattering look sometimes, but sometimes it looks pretty decent. And no, we don't get a second selfie lens with the LG G6, there's only one, but what's kind of crazy, there's a button that you can push within the camera interface that allows you to zoom out in a sense, using the entire sensor. And once again, the LG G6 is being a tricky little rascal, trying to trick you into thinking that you get two selfie cameras. And I really do love this though, because not only can you fit more friends in the shot, but you can just get more of the background for context as to where you are. Okay, now let's get into low light shots with selfies. Unfortunately, the LG G6 kind of gets spanked here. It's very noisy and it's hard to get a non-blurry shot. Although, of course, you can switch to the full wider shot. The Galaxy S8 and the Pixel though, they do a really good job here. But I do think I like the Pixel a bit more. It seems a little sharper and clearer, especially if you look around my eyelashes and eyebrows. Going back to the rear facing cameras and shooting some low light images, first thing you'll probably notice is look how well the Pixel is doing. It's nice and bright, has some beautiful colors, and it isn't very grainy. Once again, that is thanks to the crazy processing power of HDR Plus mode. The LG G6 has some okay color to it, although miles behind the Pixel, but there is a lot of graininess going on here. It is pretty sharp though. Oh, and yes, you can still use a G6's wide-angle lens in low light, but for some reason it looks a lot worse. Here's a more simple low light shot, and it's a little more closely matched now. The G6 has that more faded and natural look, where the S8 and Pixel almost look identical, and when we zoom in, the Pixel actually comes in last in terms of detail and sharpness, probably because there is no optical image stabilization with the Pixel, and the LG G6 captures the most. The common theme with low light is the LG G6 is gonna have that faded look, although it has some nice detail. The S8 takes great low light pictures with decent color, no noise, and some good amounts of detail. But the Pixel is crazy colorful, which I think makes it my favorite low light shooter, even if it's a little soft. But you do have to be careful with the Pixel with those lens flares and little halo effects when shooting in low light. So now let's talk about video recording. All three phones can shoot in 4K, and that's what you're seeing here. They all look really good. The LG G6 I think has some more saturated colors and also has that sharpening processing going on. It's hard to say which is the best, but if I had to pick my favorite, I'd go with the Galaxy S8. It's pretty natural looking here. I feel as though the G6 with its saturated colors and sharpening effect is a little too much sometimes, and the Pixel has a pretty dark image and crushes the blacks but really I'd be happy with any of these phones for video. It's when testing the optical image stabilization in each camera, we get some more obvious differences. The Pixel is by far the smoothest, but what's crazy is it has no optical image stabilization. It's all software, but it can make it look a little unnatural and janky at times. The S8 doesn't seem to be doing the best job. It's pretty jittery. And the G6 is a little bouncy, but it's not too bad. Okay, so after looking at all these pictures and videos, it's hard to say which is better because not only do they each kind of have their own style, but the LG G6 has a big feature that the others don't. So I'm really curious to hear what you guys think has the best overall camera. In outdoors, it's really hard to say which is best, but in low light, I'd have to go with the Pixel. With selfies, the S8, and for video, maybe the S8 too. But be sure to share your thoughts in the comments below because I really want to know. And if you're wondering how the S8's camera ranks up against the iPhone 7 Plus's camera, or even for a chance to win an S8 or an iPhone, be sure to check that video over here. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you later.